Okay, it is 11.39 p.m. on Wednesday, January 27th, 2021. Alright, so I'm going to talk about two waterproof mascaras that I have used and uh, I like. Um, this one is my all-time favorite, but this one I think is right up here with this one. So, yeah, this is my first time buying this one in a long time, but I have had this before, so I know it works great. Um... I've had the waterproof edition and the regular one. Um, I actually want to open this on camera, but I don't have my tripod handy at the moment. Um, so we're gonna see, we're gonna read the back first. It is waterproof mascara. And I, if I can't find waterproof, I don't buy it because I have uh, watery eyes during uh, most of the winter and my uh, oily skin really kicks up during the winter time and I have it during the summer but it is like mild during the summer anyway let's read the back mega brush instantly gives big volume without clumps volume plumping waterproof formula contains collagen all day wear no smudge no flake Ophthalmologist tested some su suitable, sorry, suitable for contact lenses to use for the ba best results. Sweep me mega brush from root to tip for instant volume. Okay, and then it repeats it in another language. I'm going to hold it there for a second so you can read it in your language, um, wherever you're from. I think that is French. I think Hydrofuge is French. In the Spanish, I think. I don't know. I'm sorry if it's not. And then down here's the ingredients. And then the... You know, places. It's good for six months. Okay. This is good stuff. It was only like $7 a tube. This was normally $25, but I got $10 off today because I got a $10 off coupon and I got three little eyeshadows from NYX. There is another one down there. You can see it, but I'm not going to pick those up right now. This one is the Too Faced, sorry, Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I always get the waterproof for the same reason. This is my go-to mascara, like my all-around favorite. Like, if I had to choose just one brand for the rest of my life that I could purchase for the rest of my life, it would be that one. Hold on. Um, okay. Too Faced Voluptuous, 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 whatever that word is, volume after three coats. Now waterproof, 90%, 97% said lashes looked more volumized, 94% dramatically thicker and 97% said intense length 30 women consumer studies after two coats okay so is the ingredients for this one this is like really long just look it up on YouTube or uh well maybe you can find it on YouTube but I'm not sure um walmart or whatever you have in your country um okay a mascara that sorry a mascara so amazing it's better than sex go ahead and cry happy tears better than sex mascara is waterproof our hourglass shaped brush was designed after discovering the bust waist hip ratio of an iconic silver screen blonde bombshell Held the secret to the perfect brush silhouette that celebrates coats and curls each lash to voluptuous, voluptuous perfection. Lashes are full, defined, and stretched to unbelievable lengths. For voluptuous, voluptuous voluminous, I'm sorry, volum, voluminous, waterproof lashes, better than sex. This stuff is high performance, formula powered by high performance, water resistant, polymers and porcelain flower extract and omega oil 
Ophthalmologist tested, suitable for contact lens wearers. Cool. Okay, so if I choose to wear contact lenses, these are both um, good for them because I actually am an eyeglass wearer as well, if you haven't noticed that. My glasses actually need the screws screwed down in them. That's probably why the arms are coming up on them. But, um, yeah, I'm going to open, open the Maybelline one on, uh, camera. I'm going to have to put the camera down for a second, though, because I have to get it started at least. Oh, it tore right open. Really cool, see? Oh, it fell right out. It was like, I'm ready. Okay, I'm really excited about this. I have not used this one since 10th grade, but I remember buying this. I do have a Maybelline one. It's in the pink tube. And... Let's see if the smell has changed. I always want to make sure it has no smell to it because if it does, that is a problem for me because my lashes, and I know this sounds weird, can itch like crazy. Okay, and I love this brush. I would display it in front of the TV, but I have a TV show up there that I don't want anyone to see. Let me do it down here. Maybe that'll work. Sorry about my foot. I need to get it to focus on the brush a little bit better. Not on my purse. No one cares about what my hand sanitizer brand is. I already opened the other one. So yeah, um, I know almost every single girl I know has this mascara in their collection. Um, if it's not this one, it's one of the other tubes. There's like 40 or 50 different types of this mascara. I just like the waterproof one because I like the Maybelline waterproof one. Now, I will admit, Maybelline has some very good mascara. And I will not hesitate to buy it again if I grow to like it again. I haven't used it in years, but I'm going to use these two side by side. I'm going to open this one carefully because I do have one already open that is almost dried out. So you would think I would just throw it away, right? But I do plan on going through my whole mascara bag tomorrow and throwing away a bunch of stuff I will never wear. So here's this one open. I took the little pamphlet out earlier because I don't like the little pamphlet. Uh, I just pulled it out of the box and all I had to do is open it carefully. I like to open these carefully. Mascara is my favorite part of doing makeup. My eyes are like the... I don't know what you would say. My holy trinity of makeup. So this is the mascara one for the better than sex one. I'm not going to try and get this one to focus. Maybe if I aim it down here. Away from the better than... The, better than the Colossal Lash one. Colossal Lash one. Okay. You can you get an idea of what it looks like. It's an hourglass shape, like it says. It actually does work pretty well for people who want um, natural lashes with that false lash effect. There's another brand called uh, La Lash Princess. Ulta Beauty sells it. And I'm sure there are other places that sell it as well. It's only like $5 a tube, and it works pretty damn amazing. I have two types from it. I have the purple one and the green one, and I don't know where they're at right off. I know they're in my mascara bag. That's why I'm saying I don't know where they're at right off. And I'm going to share with you guys a tip that I learned as a kid. Anytime you go to use a mascara, if you have makeup wipes, even if they aren't a dollar, um... Use your makeup wipe. Use a makeup wipe every day to clean off around your mascara, where your mascara lid screws on. Like, uh, for example, on the Too Faced one, where your bottle connects in and stuff. I'll show you on the Maybelline one what I'm talking about. Um, because I did the same thing with my first Maybelline one, and I went to use it one day, and, uh, it wouldn't shut. Let me show you. Like, around here where the little screw things are at, it was black because it wouldn't shut. And you know why? Because the mascara had built up all the way around the 
um, lid and I didn't know that it would dry in place like with a nail polish I'm not saying do that with a nail polish but you know how sometimes it's hard to open nail polishes it's the same principles here um, those principles can apply in a lot of places so yeah um, anyway that is my video for this moment it is now 11 50 p.m. Um, I would I'm not sure if I'm going to enable the comments again because somebody thinks it's funny to post gross comments in my comment section and I'm not that type of girl. Um, we got a lot of stressful things going on in our life right now and I'm going to talk about that in here in a video here in a minute after I finish eating my quesadilla that I made 20 minutes ago and it's cold again. Um, I just can't say I'm in a great place right now but I'm going to try and push through tomorrow and uh, finish cleaning my room. I took today off for a couple of reasons. A, because I was tired. I'll tell you in another video. Okay? Alright, peace. It is still 11.50pm. If you're new, please subscribe. Um, well, okay, I'll just go ahead and re-enable the comments. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite mascara is and... Let me know if there's some other brands out there that I should try, and I'll let you know if I've tried them or not, because let me show you my mascara bag real quick. Look here. This is just mascara alone. There's a few eyeliners in there, too. But this is just mascara alone. That's why I'm going to go through it. My original Too Faced Better Than Sex is in there, too. I actually have a original pink one. Actually, I've got a couple of them. Excuse me, but the other one is actually not in there. My waterproof one's in here, too, the one I have open. These are going to bite the dust, though, because uh, these are well over a year old. This one's well over a year old, and this one I've had since my birthday last year, so it's almost a year old. Anyway, I'm going to go through this stuff tomorrow and uh, put my new ones in there. And uh, I just feel like talking about what happened today, and I hope that you guys will pray for my family. But that will be for this next video. Alright, anyways, it's 11.52pm. I'm sorry for the long video. Hope I help someone out with uh, oily skin or someone who has watery eyes or just likes to swim even. If you like to swim, these waterproof mascaras, both of them actually stay on through ridiculously wet situations. Rain, snow, tears, swimming, showers, believe it or not. That's why I use waterproof makeup remover. Um... I forgot to mention that, but it does work. Anyways, peace. Have a great day. Bye.